Hello, this is the Ramblings of an Indisciplined Mind podcast for Monday, December 21st, 2015. I'm working from home today, so I'm using the recording studio today. And uh, I got thinking about, you know, one of the things that I'm actually kind of surprised it hasn't died out already. One of the Christmas traditions. And that is the uh, Christmas cards, sending of Christmas cards. We actually stopped doing it, I don't know, about five, six years ago, maybe longer. It just didn't seem like it was it was really worth it. It, w- it was worth the expense of buying the cards and buying the postage and sending it out and getting a whole bunch back. And, you know, the people that we really wanted to interact with, we interacted with through other methods, you know, via seeing them face to face or seeing them or, you know, through Facebook or something like that. It just didn't seem to be like a good use of time and and money and so we got to the point where we stopped doing it and you know a lot of people i think were kind of you know they wouldn't send us one because we weren't sending the one back and that was fine because quite frankly we didn't need them cluttering cluttering up the house um and and we almost got to the point where they we stopped getting any uh, but but we're down to now where we get like four or five a year. We've got some people, you know, they're mainly family, and they're mainly, mainly family we don't see all the time that send us one. But we still have, we still have, well, we have a family that we know where they took a picture of, of everybody together and sent that out as a Christmas card. So it's just kind of funny to me that that kind of holds on as a, tra- as a tradition because that was one of those things that I I thought probably would have, uh, gone away um, quite some time ago. No, I'm sure the post office is very happy that it's not gone away, and I don't blame them for that. But uh, yeah, so I I, I I am surprised. You know, that it it does still hold on as much as it does, um, because because you know, for a while there the e you know sending an e card was was big. You could go on sites like jibjab.com, which I think is still out there, and there were some other sites where you could you could put, you could uh, personalize an electronic Christmas card, and then you could email that to whomever you wanted. And and I really thought that that was going to replace um, the mailed Christmas cards. Uh, and I guess it hasn't totally yet. Uh, even people that are online are not necessarily doing that. So it's going to be interesting to me to see, you know, how long it takes before it dies out, if it if it really ever does. Now, I, I think it probably will because other forms of postal communication have pretty much died out, uh, such as, you know, the written letter. As far as I handwrite a letter to you, obviously, you know, the mail is used for um, lots of other information dissemination, uh, both legitimate and uh, less, more spammy, less legitimate means. But, you know, as far as if I want to communicate with somebody and, and send them a missive of some kind, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm going to send them an email. Uh, and if they didn't have email then maybe I would write them a letter. But I, you know, even my in-laws have email. I, I, I don't know, know anybody. There's nobody in my, in, that I'm aware of that I deal with that doesn't have email. So I'm not, you know, unless I'm doing it for an aesthetic reason for some reason, um, I'm not going to be writing a, a handwritten letter anytime soon. You know, and I think that by and large, that's gone away as uh, as a form of communication. I wonder what they do for pen pals. You know, when I was in like middle school, I had a pen pal in I want to say Korea, and you know, so we would write letters back and forth. We did that for a little while, and that was fun. You know, it was fun getting letters with all these Korean stamps on them. South Korea, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, in, in the air, in the in the airmail envelope with the with the blue and the red little markings 
across the sides. So that was kind of cool. Uh, so I wonder what they do about that. If it is maybe that's all handled. If there's even such a thing as pen pals anymore, maybe now they do it via email instead of via snail mail, which would be a lot faster, probably, than, than what it was. So yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking about today. Thinking about Christmassy things, we have gotten a number of cards. I, th I think our number of cards this year are up uh, from what we've had. I mean, not horrendously. So I remember when we, were, when we were getting like, you know, I don't know, 50 cards, 25 cards, somewhere, you know, some number that was relatively big. We had usually a pretty good stack. And then when we started phasing them out, then that number slowly declined. And and uh, we were maybe maybe we're getting down to like one or two a year. And now we seem to be on the upswing a little bit this year. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's like an economic indicator, like the Christmas lights. You know, if, you, if you're driving around and you're seeing, um, in, in good years, it's thought that you'll see more Christmas lights than in, in bad years. You know, the thought being that in bad years, there are people that are just going to be saving the money that they might spend on electricity to have Christmas lights outside their house. Um, so, therefore, they're going to, they wouldn't do that. But in good years, and I would have to say, if that is a thing, this is a good year, then you're going to see more people with Christmas lights. Because I've seen a lot of people with Christmas lights this year. So anyway, that's what I was thinking about today, and I'm already at eight minutes, so I think uh, I'll let that be that. I will be back on the road in the morning, um, heading to work today. I obviously work from home. Uh, so I'll be back on the road in the morning, and I will be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.